What's up, people? Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing good. This is Gufran, and you're watching Indian Grad in Germany. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. And without further delay, let's start with today's new episode of our podcast session. So, uh, in today's episode, I have with me Akshay. He is, I mean, he recently graduated and is working full time. He studied masters in power engineering from BTU Cottbus. So this course is quite interesting and also further in the video we'll talk about his journey for the full time employment as well which is in the graduate trainee program at one of the leading organizations in Germany. Akshay thanks a lot for coming on the platform and taking your time to share your feedback related to your studies and also the full time opportunity that you have in hand now. Let's start uh, with with your quick introduction. Thanks thanks for coming on the channel. Yeah. So Gufran thank you so much for inviting me. this would be a great opportunity for me also so to introduce myself i am akshay and i come from city hyderabad in india i have completed my bachelor's of engineering in electrical and electronics engineering from vasavi college of engineering after completing my bachelor's i immediately came to germany for my masters in power engineering as you mentioned in pu cottbus which is near to berlin so that's the quick intro okay so uh, if if i remember it correctly or from what you said is uh, did you had some prior experience before you came to germany like any kind of internships or full time opportunities in india or you came as a fresher and then started your journey over here as a bachelor's graduate i'm completely completely a fresher i only had two internships during my engineering which are part of my studies i didn't have any prior experience i just had an exp- internship in the fields which i wanted to go into further while you were making this decision to come to germany what other countries you had in mind because generally this this thing happens right uh, when we take the decision of coming to some new country for our studies we do compare certain options which are in hand like us canada australia and then we also compare different factors so for you what was the main uh, criteria for making the decision uh, so i have considered united states germany and also united kingdom uk the main factors were how is the field research going on in this field and the second one the quality of education and third one the expenses in these three uh, i have ruled out uk due to different reasons uh, uh-huh. i didn't find that interesting and in united states yeah the field is good but the education is costlier and it's little bit more tough to get into better universities in united states than in germany uh-huh. so in germany i felt that the uh, field is very good and my main interest was into power electronics completely and mm-hmm. i feel the industry is also very good and university also has a better education in power electronics okay yeah yeah got got your point moving forward with the discussion then how did you came up with this course and did your friends uh, were already here in germany who who told you about this course or you went on comparing different courses on the dart website Uh, how you arrived uh, on this decision of selecting this university this course apart from this whether there were similar kind of courses you applied in other places in germany it was a long story mm, i have <laughs> came in a period in of corona you can see so okay. during 2021 in india the situation was very bad and the exams were getting late and the certificates were getting late i have applied many universities but due to my unavailability of certificates many universities uh, rejected my application Okay. And uh, while applying for the other major universities, I got to know that this is one of the good university, and I also got admitted into University of Stuttgart for the similar course, uh-huh. not completely similar, but a little similar course, I can say. Also, there is a course in TU Munich as well. Due to this Corona reason, I couldn't get my uh, customized LOR for TU Munich. Okay. So there are multiple factors that I yeah. didn't get to into the other universities. I when I got this, I also had the admit of University of Stuttgart. One of the reason for uh, getting, I mean, getting into this university is uh, there is an internship, mandatory internship in this course, and the courses are really interesting and really engaging with the other international candidates. So you get more exposure to the international culture. So okay. I felt that is interesting. Yeah. And, I get into I got into the university. Yeah, I mean that's interesting because uh, during COVID, uh, many things were affected. Even for me, like I came during that duration, twenty twenty one January, yeah. man, everything was, I mean, silent all around the globe. Uh, yeah. it, it was difficult, but yeah, we survived. <laughs> yes, we survived and we achieved. What are the course requirements when someone is applying for this course? Like admission requirements. Uh, I mean things may change now because 
I'm asking you this questions two years from now. Uh, when you applied, the things were different. Now it can be different. But as as general overview, what do you suggest? Yeah, I think the things have not changed a lot. The IELTS band six point five. uh not complete band but the overall score should be 6.5 okay and the subjects uh for admission into this uh, university you need to have some subjects in your graduation that's that's mm-hmm. also a mandatory thing these are the main things and also uh the score they didn't mention anything officially on the website but okay. i feel 1.8 is the maximum you can apply 1.8 yeah over than that yeah maybe you can get but the chances are very little like i guess and uh, any work experience required for this course there is no work experience required because i didn't have any experience one of my friend who got into the same university like mm-hmm. like same of 2021 passed out he also didn't have any experience yeah i okay. have a couple of friends who don't have experience as well in the university okay german language uh, requirement uh, there is of? no german language requirement and you need not complete any german course in some yeah. university you have a regulation that you need to complete a certain level of german level mm-hmm. before you graduate yeah. there is no such such requirement as well in the university okay then that's pretty much flexible and convenient for for students uh, yeah that's that's really convenient the course instruction is completely in english yeah. that's that's nice uh, one thing to add up is uh, when you were applying so was there some kind of pre check because if you if you remember there are some universities they also have this pre check uh, where you apply in the initial stage they will check whether you set uh, all the requirements are there in your cv or profile and then then only they give you a gateway for the next step but uh, for this course was there a pre check a vpd requirement and so on there was a vpd requirement so i have sent my documents to uniassist mm-hmm. i don't know what's the case now but i have sent the as uh, documents to uniassist after that they processed my application and they have sent it to university so i didn't apply directly i okay. applied through uniassist okay got it okay yeah i mean uh, i'll put down the link of this course or maybe the university in the description and then students can check the latest requirements uh yeah moving ahead what is the course structure how it is defined uh, what are the number of semesters and in which semester what a student needs to do roughly you can tell us so the course structure is uh, like it has 120 ects credits mm-hmm. and in that you need to do a mandatory internship of 12 credits and a master okay. thesis of 30 credits in the remaining 78 uh one is general studies mm-hmm. one subject you need to select from one of the universities other branches rather than the branch of yours mm-hmm. and the other 72 are from your uh, core components yeah, like based on the okay uh, course like there are two electrical power engineering and mm-hmm. renewables in engineering mm-hmm. so for us 18 grades from power electronics and 18 grades from power systems 18 from common modules and 18 from general electives so this was a long structure of the course yeah, but yeah you need to complete it in four semesters mm-hmm. yeah that's it's how it is flexible as well right you can extend yeah it, it is flexible actually you need not complete uh, i mean you you are not intended to complete the, all the subjects in the first semester mm-hmm. you can do it whenever you want you can study in okay. first or third based on the course availability got it and if if someone wants to specialize in particular field then he can take more subjects from that area and specialize as well right yeah i did the same i Uh, my inter- interest is in power electronics so mm-hmm. i have to one more extra subject in power electronics and subjects related to power electronics yeah pretty much good uh, and in, in last semester it is decided or it is recommended to do a thesis in the last semester right for 30 yeah, it is recommended to yeah it is recommended mm-hmm. but uh, even with that you are flexible actually i can say and uh, if if i remember you said mandatory internship so it is in which semester it it also completely flexible it is also completely flexible you can mm-hmm. do this internship and also do the subjects okay. don't think so you can do the internship and thesis parallelly but you can do subjects and internship parallelly the internship is minimum of 10 weeks and maximum of 6 months and, and the university provides a letter because it is a mandatory internship right so it helps yeah, you yeah it get... provides a letter provide basic guidance on how to deal with the internship thing i mean how to apply and how to appear they deal with that as well and this is good because uh, not all courses have the mandatory internship option and if this course has it uh, it always helps you because uh, when the option is not there then you have <clears throat> to decide the structure and approach the companies by yourself but at least in mandatory internship you have that letter from the university that this is a requirement from the university and there are more chances than i feel for getting an internship then for even for the unsolicited 
the mandatory internship add up something i think moving <laughs> forward to my next question uh, what's uh, the fees for this course and uh, yeah you can tell that and then i'll ask you the next question which is linked to the stop i came it was around 320 euros with semester ticket mm-hmm. now there is no semester ticket and i guess it is around 170 euros per semester okay and then apart from this you have to take the deutschland ticket something for the oh uh, yeah you now now you need to take the semester ticket is no more so no no tuition fees this is the just the semester contribution that you semester need to pay. yes and uh, what about the cost of living uh, in corpus during the initial days there was no crane war and nothing mm-hmm. happily a person can live with 450 euros <laughs> or 500 euros <laughs> okay now probably 500 to 700 euros because mm-hmm. you need not take an accommodation in the outside of the university you have very good student dorms mm-hmm. and you have a lot of privacy and that that's really good and probably 700 is the maximum you will be getting ah so i mean it's not that costly compared to frankfurt munich berlin were, no. those are very so the apartment which i used to have was mm-hmm. 220 euros oh that's super so cheap. you can guess how <laughs> how i mean now it is 250 or guess i think i mean in mm-hmm. the prices are increased but yeah, yeah. it is also nothing when you compare with the south how about the job opportunities in that region i guess for the long run it would be better you come to the south okay because uh, you have nowadays there are a lot of research projects coming in the university professor mm-hmm. are having their student assistantship research assistant yeah. but uh, if you have if you want for industry exposure i don't mm-hmm. think so that area has that much great you know industries with the region okay probably you know, probably you can do one thing you can search for an internship in the south of the region mm-hmm. baden wurtemberg or bavaria from your institute for odd jobs or or jobs which are not like related to internships working students are there opportunities yeah. in the in the city so it's a town uh, city no. like it is a town uh, like it's like one one lakh population mm-hmm. the opportunities are not that great you need to have german for that in the town because you can only work in the bakeries or uh, mcdonalds kind of kind of things mm-hmm. if you need to have uh, other jobs you need to go to berlin which is around one and a half from hour from the cottbus you have a train okay. so you can go okay and do students generally prefer this like do are there some students who do who are doing this yeah like uh, depending on their situation so depending on situation they are choosing between these and they are get, in the meantime they are applying for the internship and doing that yeah. for a short term they are doing that i can say lastly one question that is remaining is related to the alumni and people uh, what are they doing after this course if you have an idea perspective i have is some people are working in the industries mm-hmm. i mean mostly everyone is working in industries and some people went with research and they got their doctorates and okay. then they are doing their research so mostly everyone is settled the course is good and you have good opportunities in industries so based on their personal choice mm-hmm. people are choosing their field final conclusion question from my side is uh, what is your personal feedback or opinion to the students who want to apply this course or who want to come to germany what will be your ideal co- pros and cons for this course or maybe a general feedback that you want to give to the students for the course i can say it is a good course and it has some good interesting courses as well but other than the course you also need to do other works like learning new skills new softwares and uh, having some knowledge on the field i i, f- I felt that some f- courses are not taught in the university but they are required for the job opportunities or internship opportunities and other than that i would say people to learn german mm-hmm. i mean if you learn german you have better opportunity, opportunity. in the industries and also in the university also mostly they do the work in german so if you have some knowledge professor will also have some impression on you that okay this candidate can do technically and german well so they can give some assistantship as well uh, so yeah okay. that's and before coming to the university i would prefer the people to learn some new courses while in india or some other countries mm-hmm. i mean before come to germany and also uh, my main strong suggestion is do internship in the field which you want to excel because that's a main factor which besides on the universities and also the industries many people ask for prior experience in the field do as many as projects possible and as many as internships possible in the field which you want to go further 
that's my main suggestion me a lot in my interviews and also in my university work yeah this is this is true because uh, if you do your internships or working student in that particular area where you want to work full time then it adds up your experience and also you become uh, strong in your profile because you know what things to expect in the full time job and you have that added experience in hand and you can bring that to the table and then negotiate for the full time job opportunities and it also becomes easier for you because uh, when you apply uh you have those specific options in hand rather than focusing on many options you only narrow down and focus to that those particular options and apply and then certainly you are a good fit for for those options yeah and i would add i, I would like to add a point so not only during in germany before coming to germany in your bachelors uh i would recommend to do a strong internship and good work in the thesis or your projects Okay yeah noted thanks thanks akshay for the added point and thanks for coming on the channel for the topic of your university thanks a lot thank you so much